Hey man, um, have you finished the video yet? What? Dude, I said the next video will be the JoJo video. What do you mean? Okay, I get I don't pay you, but like, at least have some sort of worth ethic, man. Okay. Okay, how far are you into it? May, may, uh, maybe it's, I, it's, it fits into the schedule. Zero! You're zero percent done? <sighs> okay, I'll figure something out. This is why I hate people! Gamers is the surprise hit of the season that you probably skipped over because it has a lame description that turned the most hardcore of rom-com fans off. How did they accomplish this? By advertising misunderstandings, and if you have watched anime rom-coms placed in high school, misunderstandings are the bane of your existence. Looking at you, every harem ever, and Chojos, don't think that you're getting a free pass from me. Miss, two people confess to each other, but they think that the other person is rejecting them at the same time. But I digress, I could talk about that another day. This is just a simple recap of gamers up to episode 6. Why? Well, I wouldn't be surprised if one person couldn't keep up, but also to get at least one person to watch the show if they aren't yet. The show starts using an in-media res to proper effect. It's a few seconds long and it doesn't tell you how far in the future it is. We then get into Amino explaining Tendo to the audience while the show is telling you, don't worry about it, she won't be perfect for long. Amino and Tendo end up meeting at a gaming store and after some banter and great direction, she asks him to join the gaming club. Next we get introduced to Ohara and his girlfriend Aguri, which he doesn't think too highly of as a person and only dates her because she is perceived as cute. But it doesn't seem that he has any feelings for her while the show again foreshadows his fall from grace. And he, while he's insulting Amino, also foreshadows how Amino and Aguri will meet in secret in the future. After some late night talk, Tendo convinces him to visit the gaming club. He does, but gets depressed when he finds out he's not the only guy invited. He gets introduced to the members, they play some games, and it's established that he's not really good at the games being played. But they want him to join anyway. But he turns them down. Yes, this show pulled a Mob Psycho 100 and avoided the trope of joining the club. Tendo tries to still get him to join, but he still rejects her. While she's walking away crying, she slips on a banana peel and runs away. Yes, a banana peel. And that's how we end episode 1. Episode 2 starts showing the ending scene from episode 1 from Uahara's perspective, then cuts to the OP. Which is actually pretty awesome. It even has great animation and a bunch of gaming references that makes it very entertaining to watch. Then it starts focusing on Uhara and Aguri, and how Aguri loves him, but he's just indifferent. Them and their friends go to the arcade, and he has flashbacks of being a geek. He meets Amino, they hit it off, and one thing leads to another, and they end up playing games together in the arcade. Tendo is also there trying to get him into the game club, but Amino doesn't really notice. When Ohara catches up with his friends, Amino acts like the antisocial nerd that he is and leaves. But Ohara can't stand how similar he used to be to Amino and chases after him and has a confrontation with Amino, explaining that he had to work to get where he is, so how dare he just sit around and feel like that he's better than everyone else. Then he goes to insult the gaming club, which pisses off Amino, and he starts pushing him over the side of the bridge unconsciously. Which leads to some hilarious faces from Uahara as he worries about his life. They both calm down and talk a little more, sort out their differences, and become friends. But right when you think it's over, Tendo overheard the whole thing and now is completely love-struck with Amino. And Uahara sees this end to the prologue to her breakdown, and basically says he can't wait to mess with these kids. And we end the episode finding out that Aguri has loved Uahara since middle school even though he was a nerd. So now he actually has fallen in love with her for real. So you all might be saying, Anime God, but you said this show had a bunch of misunderstandings, but two episodes in and everything seems to be moving pretty smoothly. Oh, don't worry my children. I got you covered, cause episode 3 is where the real misunderstandings begin. Now that Amino and Uahara are friends, Amino is now sharing games with him and giving him recommendations, but he gave him some bad weird game made by some game developer named Nome. 
And after some friendly banter about their relationships with girls, why his nickname in, in his game that he's playing is Suchi, it really introduces us to Momo, a gaming buddy of his. Uehara then forces him to practice on a girl named Chiaki for his own dream of seeing a real-life romantic comedy. Since the girl happens to be in the same class as Tendo, Amino, being clueless, tells Tendo right to her face that he's here to talk to another girl, which suppresses Tendo. A lot. Amino and Chiaki really hit it off, bonding over the fact that they both rejected Tendo's club, and it turns out that they're almost the same person when it comes to gaming, while Tendo watches them get closer. But as nerds tend to do, they have different opinions on Moe, and now they can't get along for the life of them. They go to Uhara to sort out their problems. Aguri ends up seeing this and starts getting angry. It gets worse when Uhara starts complimenting her by saying her messy hair is cute, but if she cut it, it could be cuter. Which kills Aguri. And it turns out Tendo is watching too, but she can't hear anything. The next day, Amino tries to check up on Aguri through Uhara, which makes him suspicious. It turns out that Chiaki took Uhara's advice to heart and cuts her hair, and now she is Tendo level hot. And Uhara calls her cute as hell while Aguri is watching. Amino sees this and chases after her. Chiaki sees this and tells Uhara when he asks. While Amino is chasing after Aguri, he has to ask Tendo for directions in where she went. He tells her that the reason is relationship drama. You can guess how that went over. When he catches up to her, he asks her to go out to tea to try and clear the air. He does accomplish this feat somehow and starts patting himself on the back, but Aguri comes back and sees Ohara holding onto Chiaki's shoulder, and that's where we end for episode 3. You know, we're only halfway through this and I already hate my own voice. <laughs>